Hi, welcome to the customization of corpus-based MT engines tutorial series. If you want to make sure that the engine uses the desired terminology, you can upload a general glossary for terms that have multiple translations. Or you can use a runtime glossary, a much more powerful tool with find and replace functions. In this case, only add terms that have unique translations. For example, the word acuerdo cannot be entered within the runtime glossary because you may have an alternative translation of de acuerdo as accept. Instead, use the de runtime glossary for names for unvarying translations of terms such as brands, names of institutions or procedures. One tip is to use a different folder to separate the general glossary from the runtime one since they should be named under the same file name and format. Another difference to mind is that the runtime glossary should be uploaded in the translation tab, whereas the general one in the training tab. The advantage of the runtime glossary is that it becomes effective without any retraining of the engine. In case you are in need of more specific terminology, we suggest to download the glossaries provided by the IATE, the Interactive Terminology of Europe. If you find this tutorial helpful, please like it. MT Technology for Everyone